Yo, what's up everyone? Welcome back to yet another video on the channel. It's me, Brugly, and in this one, I'm gonna be going over Backrooms Level 33, or the Flooded Mall. This one is literally the exact definition of a creepy liminal space. So if you like that, then you're gonna like the video. Anyways, I do hope you enjoy it. Let's get right into it, shall we? Level 33 is classified as a class 2 difficulty, so it's not too dangerous at the start, but it does get dangerous. The level itself is a creepily empty shopping mall. The stores inside of the mall were actually stores from real life, you know, like the typical ones, but most of them are completely empty besides a few random items. Some of the stores as well as restaurants are closed off completely by those gate things that you've all seen before, but unlike the gates from real life, these gates cannot be opened no matter what. And for the most part, all the food courts in this mall are completely empty, but if you are lucky, you might run into one that has food. When you're first sent to this level, you'll probably run into a random hound or a duller or a death rat, but it's not too likely since the entrance area is pretty safe. But as I said earlier, the further you go into the level, the more dangerous the creatures get and the more dangerous the environment gets. The mall itself will start to deteriorate more and more the further you go, eventually to the point where the floor will completely be flooded and the walls will be peeled and cracked and the lights will stop working and then eventually just everything's trying to eat you. Yeah, but I'm gonna get into detail on what that means in a second. The good news is for you, it's been somewhat mapped out where you should go and where you should avoid so you don't accidentally go there and your old pal Brugly is about to tell you right where to go and right where to not go. When you first land in this level, to you it'll just look like a normal tile floored mall that's squeaky clean. This clean and dry area lasts for around 50 miles because at that 50 mile mark is when the corrosion state starts. This is when the walls will start to gradually show mold and scratches and some tiles will be cracked or broken and the lights will start to flicker once every few hours. So it's not too bad yet, just a little worn down, but it's about to get pretty bad. This corrosion state is also when smilers and other entities will start to show up and just start to hunt you down. So make sure just to watch out for all the dark areas. Now at 100 miles in, the entire section of walls will be completely ripped out and mold will be all over where they were. And not in patches like the 50 mile marker, this mold will be everywhere. The water will be around two inches deep on the floor now, and the lights will flicker once every few minutes instead of once every few hours. And there are a bunch more entities here as well. At this point, it's gonna start snowballing and getting completely bad, so just buckle up. 200 miles in, everything is just terrible. The mold is thick on the floor, the walls, the ceilings. There's moss hanging from the ceilings, the water is two feet deep now, and the lights constantly are flickering off and on, which would drive me insane if I'm gonna be honest. At this point, they're just turned off completely for several minutes at a time, and then they'll just randomly flicker back on for a few seconds. This is when your sanity will start to drop pretty badly, and I, I don't blame you. And lots of auditory and visual hallucinations will start to happen in this 200 miles out zone. 300 miles into the level is when the weeds start growing up through the floor, up through the water, and stand at around 6 feet tall. And the water itself is now 5 feet deep, and the lights are always off, but will flick on once every several hours. And those hallucinations from earlier will start to lure you into smiler traps. So don't listen to what your brain is telling you. And this part actually reminds me of that one SpongeBob episode with the magic conch. You know, when they were all lost in that huge kelp jungle. That's what I imagine this part looks like. 500 miles in and the floors and lights don't even exist anymore. And there's just fire on the ground where the water used to be. 750 miles in and the walls are just pipes and moss and everything is just so overgrown and there's entities all around you and those hallucinations aren't even hallucinations at this point they're real and everything is just so overgrown you can barely see now after this point there's only been one person to get to the thousand mile marker and they said that the weeds are over 20 feet tall and there's just black voids for walls and floors and somehow you're just walking on it and there's hundreds of entities in the weeds and he ran back when a horde of entities started chasing him. 
So he recommends to not go any further than the thousand mile mark, but there are some groups that are trying to go further. I'm not sure why they're trying to go, but hey, you know, whatever, whatever they want to do. To enter this level, you have to get into a shopping cart from level 11, and then you'll be sent here, and you can exit by going through the same door you came through from level 11, or you can get to level 45 by entering an office in the mall. So yeah, that was uh, the interesting level 33. This one was absolutely nutty. Hope you enjoyed it. I really like levels that degrade the further you go into them and become more broken down. So I thought this one was pretty cool. And hopefully you did too. Thank you for watching and supporting me. Thank you all so much for the support, guys. You were just, y'all are insane. Like, seriously, thank you so much. Hope you're having a great day. Make sure to check out whatever you want to down below in the description. Like my second channel for gaming videos, rants, tier lists, stuff like that. I'm aiming for 50k subs, and we are well on the way to 50k. Thank you for watching and supporting me, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.